We're going to beat all four challenges with some of the best decks in the game for them. Mmm, it's an orange juice. So first up, we have the ramp up challenge followed by double elixir, triple elixir, and legendary raise infinite seven times elixir. It's not really infinite, but it is seven times. The ramp up challenge, we are at three wins. You can't lose this challenge, but we haven't lost yet. I was changing up the decks a bit. First I went with the Royal Piglets, then I went with the Bat Variation, and then now I'm going with Firecracker and Princess. We're going to start stacking them in the back. Executioner is going to defend against everything. Magnite defends against all ground, and then you have the Giant just because you can. Let's put it down. By the way, I didn't even know Ramp Up goes up to five times Elixir. I've never had a game last five minutes to hit quad elixir, five elixir stuff going on. He's got the mini pack out, the magic archer. They're all going to disappear. He's down so much elixir. I think this is it. Should I pull that baby dragon out? Nah. We full send it. Giant's going to tank for my firecracker. Giant's going to not tank for my firecracker. I'm down a little bit of elixir. Level 7 Skarmy? My goodness. Nah, that's a casual challenge. I get it. I totally get it. Wow, Princess defend against that very well. I could... I'm gonna ac activate that. Oh yeah! Beautiful. Bats to take that down. Dog, you're down so much. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna... Nope, no chance! Mega Knight completely taking it out. Let's go for a giant in the center. To tank for the bats. There we go. Perfectly balanced. Uh, let's do that. Take out the skeletons. Align my firecracker to the giant. Or my firecracker to the hunter. Look at that amount of damage. I'm just going to arrows that just because I can. Oh my gosh. I wish I had tornadoes right now. It's only double elixir, so I'm fine. Firecracker takes that out. We're good. We're, we might lose one tower at most. Well, uh, the princess took it. I'm, I'll take it. Giant is, by the way, so good. Oh my gosh. Firecracker is wrecking everything. Mega Knight on the little mini P.E.K.K.A. there. And then Executioner on top of that hunter. It's not even quad elixir yet. We have Mega Knights. We have Giant. Double tank is how you do this. Mega Knight jumped on the Magic Archer onto the tower. Wasn't even Quad Elixir yet. He didn't even see the true potential of my deck. This one, if you lose, you can continue for 50 gems. But why do that when you have the season pass? Oh my gosh, I'm only at tier 23. I've been playing too much Brawl Stars. <laughs> All right, we'll be back at three wins. And we're back as a cup. So we have double Elixir. As you can see, I do have one loss, and that was intentional. I needed an opponent good enough to beat me. And my opponent did beat me with a battle healer deck that inspired me to use this obnoxious rage deck. It's double elixir, so this works really, really well. With the healers, you just, you just, you just stack everything. You just stack everything, and it works. I'm going to put a battle healer in the back because she's a little bit slower, and then maybe I'll do a night witch. Oh, yeah. I've got a, an electric dragon for the night witch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Electric Dragon for his Inferno Dragon as well. This is money. Let's do a little Heal Spirit there. Maybe we're going to clump everything up for my Baby Dragon just to get it, get some good value going on. Oh my gosh, he's got the same thing. He's got the same mindset. Okay, but I'm up a bit more Elixir now because I won that battle. So we're going to Rage our Runes everything up. We're going to do a Heal Spirit up there. Here's the power. Stacking the Battle Healers. When you start stacking the battle healers, it's just infinite heal. You, you, you can't stop it. You cannot stop it. That's it. That's it. This is the game. This is exactly what you need with the battle healer for the double elixir challenge. Then you raise your runes that up, and that's not even one minute in. Woo! Three crowns for the double elixir challenge. That was so easy. This deck is so, so good. Wow, this challenge is going on for the next week for seven full days. Welcome to the Orange News Network, where we're going to be finding out what's new in Clash Royale. Oh, a Fireball Musketeer emote. I like this concept. <laughs> I would love an explosion at the end. I think TechBoy1997 made this from his phone, frame by frame, 32 frames. So it's very impressive to have made this on your phone. That's ridiculous. Lucas is saying, so my climate won the game, but apparently the opponent did. Supercell, what have you done now? Oh yeah, the balloon's going to connect, 100%.
Heals everything up. Takes it down. His opponent didn't have enough elixir. But his opponent two crowned? What? Someone's trying to explain something here. So I think when OP fireballed on his screen, all he needed to do was a fireball to win the game, which would explain why he didn't defend the balloon. So it was a glitch showing different damages for two players. So I guess they were just out of sync. So this is more like a visual glitch where it didn't show your opponent's actual move. That kind of makes sense. Wait, what? He managed to place an expo off the map. Look at that on the bottom, right? Oh my gosh. Right there. <laughs> when you max out the map like that, that's funny. I remember when you first could max out the map, it would put that in the top left corner. You know what that did? I made a video about this where you, you just max out the corner, put it in the top left with the Inferno Tower. That was cool. That was before Inferno Dragon even existed. It was unheard of to take out the tower in two seconds. 2016, the good old days before the Rona. Oh, this one's cool. Fisherman with infinite elixir. I think this is a friendlies match where he's just sending in building targeters. The fishermen just stack up. This is so satisfying. He's got like six fishermen and he's cloned them up. The giants are kind of getting through, not with 40 fishermen on the map. I think there's like 80 fishermen now. Every time he clones it, it almost doubles up. They're just clumping up so hard. That's like, that, old, that doesn't look like that many fishermen, but I think there's like... 30 fishermen on top of each other. So when he clones, that's like an extra plus 30 fishermen. Holy heck, look at all of those hooks. That was satisfying. So next up, we have the triple elixir challenge. We'll be right back with a very solid deck. And we're back with a really versatile deck with a triple elixir challenge. And we only had to continue five times. <laughs> we did have to continue once though. So this is one of the best decks to use in this entire challenge. I know I said that there's going to be other decks. I, I might have faltered and entered with this deck. And then maybe I lost a game or two. And then I might have tilted a bit. But that's okay. We have the season pass with Kuro J. This is pretty decent for triple elixir. But it's going to really shine in seven elixir. We're going to keep this video consistent. And I'm going to keep using this deck to shine for the victory. All right. I don't like that. I don't really have anything. We go over in the ice spirit in the back, just or in the front, so I can go for a battle healer in the back. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ignore that golem. We're gonna outshine him. Let's do a night witch there. No way. Golem, prince, who wins? I'm gonna win this. No heckin' way. Look at this. I have rage, sir, sir. I have rage. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Am I gonna survive? Defensive golem. Rip. 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 No. <laughs> oh, he won the push with the rocket. Zero, zero losses. losses. We're three zero in this. I promise you this is actually a very good deck. Okay, let's do a battle healer in the back and then I'm gonna go for an electro dragon. That's gonna wipe his knight, which is so good. Off the map, he's got a battle healer too. He knows what's up. He knows battle healers are strong in this challenge. Oh my gosh, he's got an inferno dragon. I don't know about how I feel about them inferno dragons now. Okay, we're gonna rage everything and just kind of tornado everything into there. Uh, does my rage win? Does his rage win? We have the same deck, but he has Inferno Dragon. I don't know about the Inferno Dragon. It's not going to be too crazy value. I'm going to start stacking more battle healers. This is it. I haven't stacked any Elixir Golems yet, so I'm going to be up a bit of Elixir compared to him. All right, now we're up. Now we're up. Now we're up. This is where it snowballs. He knows. All right. That's the thing with these decks. They're so swing. You either win with a 50 Elixir push where you lose with a, I don't know, that, that that last elixir golem push was just ridiculous. I meant to put an ice or a heal spirit there, not a BM tornado. So that is the triple elixir deck of Graveguard. That's nice. Oh, you need six ones for this. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back. Did I say that I was going to use the same deck because I meant that I was going to make the deck better? <laughs> okay, here's why. I was using the deck with the rage spell, which makes sense for double elixir. For triple elixir, it's pretty cool. It's really versatile. There's nothing crazy about triple elixir. But then I realized I got defeated by spawners. Spawners should not be able to beat this deck. And that's when I remembered that I made the world's best seven times 
infinite elixir deck in, in the, the world. world. You have the battle healer, you have the mirror. You need to mirror as many battle healers as possible because the giant skeleton does not kill the battle healer. So if you have five battle healers up, bomb explodes, they're gonna heal up to full health again. It's gonna reverse all that bomb damage. Now they're down six elixir. You just snowballed a huge mega elixir push. You have the heal spirit. Why is the heal spirit good? Not because it heals, kind of, but mostly because you wanna cycle to have the mirror and the battle healer in rotation. You have the tornado for the baby dragon to pull all the other things. You have arrows because arrows are going to need to take out firecracker because firecracker is so obnoxious. Speaking about how obnoxious it is, why not put it in the deck? So this is gonna be super, super versatile. Oh, I didn't even see these deals. Are they worth it? If you need gold, they're actually worth it. It's, it's not bad. If you if you do buy gems, make sure to use code OJ. We get a small kickback from that. But so let's blast through this. The goal of the game is to get as many battle healers on the map as possible. I goofed up because we don't have any battle healer for the mirror. There we go. Now we have two firecrackers. Let's do baby dragon up there. More battle healers, more firecrackers. It's maybe another baby dragon up there. I need to arrows that balloon. I needed to arrows it. I, I hesitated. I should not have hesitated. Oh my gosh, what is happening up there? I don't, I have no idea what's happening on the left side right now. I'm just going to do firecrackers everywhere. What the freaking heck is going on? I'm going to start mirroring the firecrackers instead of the battle healer for now. Alright, now we can mirror the battle healer. Or the firecrackers. We can mirror the firecrackers too. That works. I'm down with that. Oh yeah. Just firecrackers everywhere. He doesn't have any firecracker counters. This is great. This is actually so good. He has no firecracker answers. Firecracker to the left. Firecracker to the right. We have so many firecrackers. All right, we're doing it. You, you have to adjust your strategy. I know I did say battle healers, but if they don't have firecracker counters, that's how you beat them. I wasn't getting through with battle healers. I was getting through with firecrackers because I, I was so worried about defending against a skeleton barrel, against his balloon, and that is the solution. I didn't stagger my firecrackers properly, by the way, because I knew he didn't have poison or arrows. Oh my freaking heck. This guy, my guy, you are aggressive. Okay, we got the battle healers going on. Ah, uh, now nah, we good. We're gonna do multiple battle healers on top of everyone. Multiple firecrackers. Nope. This deck is better. It may look like I'm losing right now, but this is going to snowball into a massive, massive, massive push. Take out the firecracker as soon as possible because the firecracker is the key to his victory. Uh, yep, we'll just... Firecracker there. Maybe we'll start stacking our firecrackers. Oh my gosh. Freaking firecrackers. Well... He's not getting anywhere just yet. This is a struggle. My goodness. We need to arrows those two firecrackers. That's just obnoxious. Yeah, I think this is, this is our push. This is our time to shine. We have too many battle healers to not have good stuff happening. Wow, he needed to use... Okay, Rocket does not kill battle healers, but Rocket and Mega Knight kind of do. So, we had that going for us. There we go. There we go. We have all the battle healers up. I'm going to stagger the battle healers just, just, just a little bit so that he can't Rocket everything all at once. Let's go. More battle healers on the map. More battle healers! There we go. We just unlocked the pocket. We unlocked the pocket. We do double battle healers. We do everything. We do firecrackers on the right side. Now he has nothing for this. I'm going to do more battle healers. There, more in the pocket. We have... There's, there's no heckin' way you're able to stop this. Now this is where we shine. He thought he had us, but he doesn't anymore. We go in for the pocket. We go in for the left. We go in for the arrows on the right side. Firecracker on the left. Firecracker on the right. We don't even need to mirror the battle healers anymore. We just have to go all in, and that is the victory. 
He thought he had me. I told you this was the superior deck. Once we got into the pocket, that's when you know you won. <laughs> I wasn't scared of losing. You were scared of losing. I, I totally wasn't thinking of ways to edit out that loss. <laughs> I, I have full confidence in myself. Anyways, let's get into the last one. Okay, I'm gonna do heal spirit and then battle heal. Oh my gosh, mirrors not until the last card. Okay, now we're doing two battle healers. Maybe we'll do an elixir golem to defend against those firecrackers. It doesn't look like he really has anything for my firecrackers just yet. I don't want that executioner causing me too much trouble, so we're gonna put down the baby dragon there, and then we're gonna mirror our battle healers. Bring down, br bring, bring that uh, Sparky down just a little bit, because we gotta get rid of it, right, Mio? Okay, his Sparky's down. Let's uh, tornadoes his Sparky and everything else. We have the firecrackers, which he, he by the way has no counters to. He has no counters to my firecrackers. Uh, I'm just gonna arrows that. That's it. Five baby dragons. Million battle healers. You know it's bad when battle healers all one shot your prince. That's that's the victory right there. I don't really need to do anything else. And this is going to be a super, super solid deck. There's so many different modes in here. The only casual one is the ramp up challenge. That's the six win victory right, th right there. So the, the ramp up challenge is the only casual one. Double elixir, triple elixir, infinite elixir. That's, that's a lot of games. If you happen to lose, my only tip is get the season pass. Dude, do not continue. Those 50 gems to continue is such a bad value. This I, It's almost as if they like made it extra bad value to make the season pass seem good because it, it well it actually is good so highly recommend it oh my gosh infinite elixir should i just finish this into rank 35 maybe i will all right that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching and stay tuned for more quality code oj